This week we are finally beginning construction of the bowsprit. My name is Matt. Follow along as I turn Duracell, the legendary ocean racing sailboat, into a comfortable cruising home. The bowsprit is being built onto the bow, or the, uh, it's actually being built onto the stem of the boat. We're building it to perform two functions. The first is to carry the tack of the spinnaker, which is at the end of the bowsprit. The spinnaker is a huge downwind sail, and so it will be pulling mostly up on the bowsprit. And then the bowsprit will also carry the anchor and the anchor roller. Uh, so when we're deploying or weighing the anchor, it will be pulling straight down on the middle of the bowsprit. The engineering of the bowsprit was done by Evan, the naval architect. He's been helping a long time and has been invaluable to our project. The design has gone through many iterations with design input from viewers, locals, and friends, and professionals who have all contributed important points. I decided on a design that will be functional, very robust, can be built within my capabilities and budget, and finally will hopefully look good with the lines of Duracell. The basic concept is it will be built as two box beams in the shape of a V. The starboard beam will carry the anchor roller, and so there will be a channel cut into the sprit to allow room for the anchor's move movements as well as to support the anchor. It is designed to be able to withstand three times the breaking strength of 7 16th chain, which we plan to use. So today we're going to start building the bow sprit. I'm going to build it kind of one piece at a time. I'll build the top and then the sides, the insides, and then the bottom, glue it all together and then the gussets will go on and then we'll glue it onto the boat. So it's designed to be built within my capabilities and it's gonna be a really fun project. I have a bunch of extra of this Kusa board. This is the, this gray stuff. I've been using it for building the chain plates, the transom, all kinds of parts in the boat. I have basically a full sheet of the half inch left over. This stuff is 26 pounds per cubic foot, so it's way heavier than like my green PVC, PVC foam, but it's much more structural. It has fiberglass impregnated into it. It's got woven roving in it. It's very strong stuff. I'm also gonna use this stuff called, it's pultruded carbon. In a lot of places I use the unidirectional carbon, like especially in the chain plates where the fibers go all in one direction. They go all up or and all down. And so this stuff is already, it's pre-laminated unidirectional carbon and it's called pultruded. So they pull it through a dye with resin. This is like aerospace grade stuff. I bought it from a friend of mine. And so it'll be perfect for building this bow sprit as it will be, we'll basically be building a couple big box beams. I began by using the original mock-up to cut out the shape of the top of the bow sprit. Before I could start gluing the pultruded carbon onto the top part, I had to recess the starboard side. The starboard side is where the anchor roller channel will be, so there will be less structure in the top and bottom, so I'm cutting this recess to accept a second layer of pultruded carbon for the starboard side. Okay, so this is the top section of the bow sprit. Basically what I'm building is the top flange of a beam, and so it how we're building this is basically two like uh, box beams coming together in a v-shape so we're going to glue these pieces of pultruded carbon onto the top of this like this and you'll notice that i'm gluing two pieces on the starboard side that's because the anchor roller is going to be on the starboard side and so i have to and so there's less there's gonna be less carbon on the starboard side. So I'm doubling up how much of this pultruded carbon is here to make up for where the anchor roller is gonna be. So I'm gonna mix up some glue and put this together.
So I'm just gonna weigh it down with some heavy stuff, clamp it, that'll be it. The next day, I spent some time sanding top pieces and cleaning up the edges to get it ready to glue on the sides. I have been planning all day how I'm going to tackle this project. It's, it's a little, logistically, it's kind of difficult, but Tonight all I'm doing is I'm just going to glue on the sides uh, to the top of the bowsprit. Made this little frame thing so that the sides are just the right angle. And all I'm going to do is just put a bead down either side and we're just going to plop it on and clean it up and tomorrow then I can come back and uh, start to laminate the whole thing together. There's a whole bunch of fiberglass tying this part together. so. Uh, yeah, tonight's a pretty easy project. Plop away. Here we plop. And I'm going to use Thixo again. The Thixo Pro is the big one. This stuff is super handy, especially for projects like this. And again, if you go to uh, totalboat.com slash Duracell, I think Duracell, the Duracell project. Yeah. One we'll of put them. the link in the video. Yeah, we put the link in the video. They'll give you 5% off and then you help the channel. So, here we go. Later, I cleaned up the sprit and used a router to round the edges. This allows heavy fiberglass to cleanly lay over the edges without separating from the substrate. Once I had thoroughly cleaned the sprit of any dust and contaminants, I started the first lamination, which is just two layers of biox over the outside of the sprit. I am only hand laying these layers, no vacuum bagging, and in hindsight I totally could have made a, ba a bag for this, but at the time I was having a hard time imagining how I could make it work. I was very careful to do a good hand layup, so I'm happy with the product. The next day I laminated the inside of the sprit. This is two more layers just over the inside of the part with a few more on the sides. I was able to get this in a vacuum bag. Since there were more fiberglass layers being applied here than to the top, it was important to me to get this in a bag to reduce the weight and make sure that any of the air was removed. So we've cut out the top and laminated the three pieces of pultruded carbon to it. Then we glued the sides on and laminated it all together. The next step is to build the interior parts of the sprit. Tonight I'm making these little uh, brackets. What they are are going to be glued to the inside of the bowsprit and it is for so when I glue the bottom of the bowsprit on there is lots of gluing area. I don't know if you remember when I modified the water tanks inside the boat we built the flanges that the lids could be glued to that's basically what I'm doing here and so I have these uh, kind of molds I guess you could call them um, that I'm just going to laminate to and it makes the right angle and then tomorrow I can pop them off and glue them into the inside of the bow spread so pretty easy project
I trim, peel them off the mold and trimmed them up and now they're ready to be glued to the inside of the bowsprit. Late nights, almost 10.30. Yep, I've been figure, trying to figure this out all day, but it's time to glue it together. The, there are internal parts to this bowsprit that I have to glue in. Some of them are structural, some of them are parts of the anchor roller part. The first thing I'm gonna glue in are these little uh, brackets. They're like uh, flanges that I'm gluing on so that the uh, bonding surface is bigger for the when I glue the bottom on. So this is the bottom of the, of the bow spread. So I'm gonna glue these flanges on. There's one on each side. And then after I get done with that, then I'm gonna glue on, this is the channel for the anchor roller. You'll see that goes in at an angle where the anchor will come through the bowsprit. Once this stuff is glued in, tomorrow we can come in and we can glue the bottom on. Yeah, making, making progress on this thing. It took me all day to figure this out. What was the challenge? What did you have to figure out? Um, how to get this anchor channel in exactly the right place because you know I glue it to the inside of the bowsprit and then I glue the bottom on and then I actually cut the I actually cut the channel after I've glued it all together so I won't be able to see exactly where the channel will be. Now now that I figured out I can. And so and then plus gluing the flanges on um, in such a way where they're gonna be like have the biggest bonding area. Uh, and uh, I had to do a bunch of fitting and everything today, so it's it's turning out really, really good. I'm I'm very excited for how it how it's turning out so far. Yay! That makes me really happy to hear. So I cut these two lines. These are the, this is the inside edge of the anchor roller channel. And so that's how I know where I'm going to be putting this channel, the internal channel for the bowsprit. So I got that looped up with glue and I'm just gonna set it in here. time I had built the bottom of the sprit. This was built very similarly to the top. I recessed a 5 inch wide by 1 8 inch deep channel for the extra pultruded carbon and then fit the pultruded carbon to one side with the carbon doubled on the starboard side where the anchor channel will be. I also laminated a couple layers of glass to the up opposite side of this part which will be on the inside of the sprit. I laminated and glued everything on at the same time and put it in a vacuum bag.
last night we glued the internals into the bowsprit that's for the anchor roller channel as well as these flanges for making the bonding surface a bit bigger for gluing the bottom on. This morning we're going to glue the bottom on. Now that's an embarrassing amount of glue. I was going to say. So how do I do this again? Uh, you just put an embarrassing amount of glue on. Okay. And that's it. Oh, that is hard on the hand. Yikes. Yeah, I gave Yanni the job because my heart, my hand got it, tired. Yikes. Why is it so hard? Oh, you're much neater about it than I am. What if we switched roles and I became the boat builder and you became the documentarian? Mm. <laughs> I think it would be a disaster. It might be. A, tra a great tragedy. <laughs> I don't think Duracell would float. No. Well, it might float, but... It might float. Well, let's stick with what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. You get back to boat building, I'll get back to filming. Yeah. Good idea. Look at that, it looks like a bell sprit. Look at that. What are you studying? Making sure that it looks like good enough glue came out everywhere. It's looking pretty good.